guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Batman Internal Issue 4. I was really looking forward to this issue. Before I start talking about this issue, I want to give you guys a little update. Of course, I have Comic You Know, episode 46, and that's a show I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics. We got Furious Issue 4 and Disney Kingdom Seekers of the Weird Issue 4. Very light week. Uh, and also, guys, we have Comic Uno, our Comic Frontline um, subscriber uh, special, 750 subscribers, where you guys could recommend a comic book for us to review. So check out that video for more information. That'll be annotated. But let's talk about Batman Internal, Issue 4. You know, I'm a big Barbara Gordon fan. was really looking forward to this issue to see how she um, reacts to Jim Gordon being arrested. Um, and her interaction is great here. Uh, I love the cover. Again, Barbara against Batman. Uh, love the art for the cover. Wish that was the art for the actual story. It wasn't. Um, so let's talk about uh, the actual story here. Um, so yeah, this is definitely more about Barbara, how she inter um, how she reacts to uh, Jim being arrested. And she doesn't believe that her father killed anybody on purpose. She said, hey, I think this guy was armed. I don't think it's my father's fault. So it's her trying to fig figure out a way to... Um, redeem her father and that's what this whole issue is about and she's gonna go to any any cost to do that she's defeating people giving no mercy to people and you see the anger in her eyes so it is interesting to see that um and it's also the process of jim getting arrested going to the bad side of um of uh where blackgate uh jail so it's interesting to see that because he's also a police commissioner he put half those people in jail so what's gonna happen to him in the end will they kill him and uh, we also get to see a little Stephanie Brown, which is interesting. Um, it's more of like, hey, my father is, my father is a villain. Hey, mom, did you know this? And mom's like, no, your father? That's, that's not right. And it seems like that her mother did know, just like I guessed in that last issue, that I feel the mother would know, but it's not telling Stephanie for some reason. So I, I'm super excited to see how Stephanie's going to don a spoiler outfit and what happens when um, the mother may, might tell her or when she finds out the mother actually knew and that everyone's lying to her. So I like that they're adding Stephanie Brown's story uh, with every issue hopefully because uh, I really love her story. Um, now I really like the story. I thought it was a great story. Um, I love that Barbara's emotion in this issue, you know, punching Batman. I love Batman's interaction with Barbara. Um, and I love her. I really like her reaction a lot here. I thought it was really organic and I, I thought it fit very well the story. Like Stephanie in this issue. Why I couldn't give this pick of the week or even five stars or even four and a half was the art. Um, I think it was really distracting. Um, it's the same art as uh, Batman and Robin. One of the reasons I dropped that title is because the art, it just doesn't fit this title. Um, I think it is Dustin Nagulian that does it and he, does, he did a pretty good job with uh, Damien's son of Batman. I think he's better at the older style art because this, it just the facial expressions just didn't work for um, this issue for me. Um, a lot of facial expressions were off and that I made it, you know, like less emotional for me, you know? I wanted to care about what Barbara was saying. I did care, but with the faces I'm like, I can't buy that. Uh, so that really did kind of ruin the issue for me, but not totally because I thought the story was great here as a Barbara, as a Stephanie fan, as a Batman fan, as a Bat Family fan. I really enjoyed this issue, but that's why I didn't end up becoming Pick of the Week, because there was that weak point of the art, and I think that dragged the issue down. So I'm going to give this four stars. I thought it was a solid issue, um, but it wasn't Pick of the Week this week, but I still really enjoyed the story. And I uh, can't wait to see where Batman Eternal goes. I want to see what the title of the next one is. Uh, Nanobot Nightmare. So we'll see what that's about. Very excited for next week. Uh, I've been loving Batman Eternal, but hopefully we get back to that other art because I like that a lot better. But I understand they have to get new artists for every uh, for every issue because it is a weekly title. Uh, you know, the same artist can't be doing a weekly title. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Please tell me in the comments below what you thought about this issue. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Ryan Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.